F of Aquarius, I am a black middle terrorist, ain't no comparison. Bitch, I'm a veteran better than everything. You know what I'm saying? Hey, what's up, what's happening? It's K, we back in this thing. I'm done. I'm sorry for the I'm just going crazy. But anyways, we're here to talk about Denzel Curry. Killer Curry needed paper, you hear me? And we're here to talk about his new album, Melt Your Eyes, See the Future, See Your Future. I forgot how the fuck the title actually is. I, I took a nice little listen to this, and we're going to talk about it real quick, you hear me? Yeah, Melt Your Eyes, See Your Future. Dropped by my nigga Denzel Curry on March 25th, 2022. Now we're here to talk about this, so let me just get this out of the way. What's up? What's happening? This K, we back in the stand. K, show good. He sleep with a cut up, a throne. You know the little nigga want a turn, okay? So Denzel Curry took a look. Oh, yeah, he took a break. I think the last day he dropped was in 2020 with Unlocked and Unlocked 1.5. He dropped those. It was a little bit more experimental. I liked Zoo, which... I just feel like it was a collection of songs and he just put it together like, hey, let's just see what happened. And of course, my favorite uh, tape is probably Imperial or uh, Taboo. Taboo was a really good tape as well. I did like them tapes. But anyways, really, really enjoyed them tapes. But anyways, we here and we back now because he gave us a new offering, which was Know Your ICO Future. Now, 14 songs, 14 songs. Didn't stay too long. I remember the first single came out walking. I was fucking with it. Um, Zatoichi, Zatoichi. Yeah, it was alright. Wasn't fucking with it that much, but it was cool, you know. And it was doing its thing, you know what I'm saying. And now we back. The album dropped, and we here to talk about it. Now I'm gonna go through the names of all the songs. And then we're gonna get into it. So track one, Melt Session, one featuring Robert Galsper. Track 2, Walk In. Track 3, Worst Comes to Worst. Track 4, John Wayne. Track 5, The Last. Track 6, Mental, featuring Bridget Perez and Saul Williams. Track 7, Troubles. Track 8, Ain't No Way, featuring Black. What's it called? Josiah, J.I.D., Powers Pleasant, and Rico Nasty. Track 9, X-Wing. Track 10, Angeles, featuring Kareem R Riggins. Riggins? Okay. If I butchered your name, I'm sorry, sir. The Smell of Death, track 11. Sandra Rowe, track 12 with 454. I don't even know who the fuck that is. Zatoichi, track 13 with Slow That, Thy, 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 whatever the fuck. And track 14, The Ills. Now, good tracks, you know, the transitions was good. And, you know, I like I like that. I like when artists do that. You know, you listen to a song and it transitions to the other song seem seemingly. I know them niggas that still got Spotify for free. You be, you be sad because you get a little ad. But it transitions seamlessly. Very good. Enjoyed it. Sorry for the fucking background noise. When I decide to fucking record, a motherfucker want to call the crib. But when I'm chilling, my... Hey, man. Hey, man. Like, listen. Hey, I don't make me. I don't fuck. I'm calling my PO. But <laughs> besides all that shit, we here to talk about that now. I feel like there was a lot of themes, right, on this album. I feel like this is Denzel Curry's "I Don't Give a Fuck" album. Like, cause mind you, from Imperial to this, you could definitely see the change. I just feel like the industry like kind of took its tone on him. It's not really like bright lights, glitz and glamour anymore. Just like man. Whatever. Like, he's just talking this shit. You hear him talking about, like, you know, politics shit, you know, racism topics, you know. He's just doing his thing and he's spitting. And, of course, he has some fun. You hear on X-Wing, he's just doing his thing, rocking on the beat. There's still substance in there, but you can see beats more vibing is bouncing. And probably one of my favorite songs. That shit, that shit fire, bro. Play that in a little function, you hear me? That chorus, that chorus hit. I ain't gonna lie, that chorus, that chorus fucking fire. But besides all that, you can hear the topics. I just feel like it's like an album, it is what it is. You can even tell, like, from the song title, Smell of Death, without even hearing about it. you like, okay, he owns some shit. Walking, if you've seen the video, just, like, what the video does, and, like, kind of like metaphor it kind of has a metaphor if you will of course you can hear that I like bro when i hear like shit like zatoichi or sanjiro i'm like this nigga love anime don't you like you know what i'm saying this nigga fucking love anime don't you but like in all seriousness you could tell like he's just going through shit so like if he has to literally melt your eyes to see the future and maybe this is him just like yo what what next what else and maybe that's what the album is now, the songs were good. Production was good. 
I didn't really have a problem with any of the features. Um, some songs could have been longer. Um, like the song with Rico Nasty, J.I.D., Black, and uh, Powers Pleasant. I think that was, was his name. I just don't want to get it wrong. And Jose. Josiah. Sorry, not Jose. I be thinking about X too much. Yeah, that could have been longer. Some songs, uh, I wouldn't say overstate or welcome was. I would say the strength of this album is probably the second half. Because 8 to 14, I just fucking was enjoying. Fuck it, 7. The T-Pain song, one of my favorite songs. Now, all y'all niggas need to put more respect on T-Pain name. All y'all niggas. A lot of y'all niggas T-Pain kids. Put respect on my man name. But from track 7 to 14, I feel like I enjoyed the album way more than the first half. Or, yeah, well, yeah. Like, I know track 7 is part of the first half. But, like, I really enjoyed a lot of the songs on the second half. Compared to the first, not to say that it's bad, you know what I'm saying? And I just feel like he's just like, as you can see, he don't really pop out. I just feel like he over this shit, in my opinion, when I stayed about Denzel Curry. He was never really like the artist, or you go everywhere, you see him, take the pig, you know what I'm saying? He not really that dude, and I appreciate that. But I feel like he's just over shit. And like, yeah, that's like what this album tells me. He's just over shit, B. And the whole time I'm just sitting here, I'm just like, this nigga over shit. You know, and I thought he was supposed to give, was it him that was supposed to give us blood in and blood out, which I was waiting for. I feel like there wasn't really no promotion. I don't know if he was just trying some shit and he's just like, I'm going to just throw this out and see what the fuck happens, in my opinion. Or maybe he was just like, I'm going to let the music speak for itself and do its thing. So, yeah, and that's my thing with Denzel Curry. I don't really know. And now... That's all I really got to say. Again, the beat selections wasn't really mad at it. You could tell there's a difference. And the reason I do like Denzel Curry is like, you know, there's a difference. If you hear Imperial and you come to this, there's clearly a difference in production. Even like the drums, they don't sound like the basic drums you'd be hearing a lot of these niggas use. And I'm not trying to disrespect niggas. But, you know, they just, it just sounds like some different shit. Like, Loki is a small thing. It just sounds like some different shit at the end of the day. Besides all that, like, what can I really say? Now, I sat on it. I had one proper full listen. I went back to songs I liked. Where I would be listening to it and I'm like, nah, this shit hard. I gotta go back and listen to it. You know what I'm saying? And what I gotta say is, it's a good album. Like, I don't really have nothing bad to say about it at this point. Maybe I gotta give it a few more listens. But, yeah, it's a good, solid project. To me, is it at the level of an Imperial and a Taboo? Maybe not, but again, it's fresh. Also, by by the way, side side note, I know this is not a little dirt video, but like, hey, listen, grown up slash speaker, it grew on me. I fuck with it. I fuck with it now. That shit hit. That shit hit. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't gonna lie to you, nigga. The speaker song, the speaker after that song should have been a song by itself. That that shit, that shit, that shit fine. But it's, uh, sorry, back to them's okay. But yeah. I don't feel like it is better than those, but clearly I would say, because I wasn't the biggest fan of Unlocked. It was cool. I wasn't the biggest fan of it. Zoo was cool. I just feel like it was just a collection of songs through together. I'm not saying every album has to have a theme, but I'm just like, these are just like some Lucy's or some shit you just had in the tuck and you wanted to drop an album. I just feel like that's what the Zoo album was. I think it was called Zoo. Hold on one second. Am I bugging? Like he was outside by a car. I think it was called Zoo. I'm sorry. I'm gonna look for this shit. I'm so sorry. Like, yeah, it was, yeah, Zoo. It was called Zoo. Yeah. And we didn't get. Did we get blood in? I guess we got blood in, right? It was like an EP, I think, right? Or was it a mix? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we got a little bit of blood in. You know what I'm saying? Blood in, blood out mix. It was what it was, you know? It was what it was. I feel like it was an EP though more than a um an actual album, but hey, it is what it is. But yeah, even me, I wasn't the biggest fan of that either. But like this is good. I will definitely come back to this. I, I still haven't caught everything he said. I gotta go back and listen to some shit. But just off, like, just a oh, listen. First listen is very good. And I know you can't really make a proper conclusion after one listen. 
But still, you know, I enjoyed the album. I enjoyed the project. And yeah, Denzel Curry, keep doing your thing. Shit. Hopefully you come back, nigga. Imperial too, that's what I want. <laughs> I just, nah, bro. Imperial, I don't know. Maybe because I first found out about him during that album. Like, that shit just be hitting. I want a vinyl of that motherfucker. But anyways. <clears throat> That's all I gotta say about it. Go check out the tape. You gonna like it. Even if you're not a biggest Denzel Curry fan, just give it a chance. There's definitely gonna be something you like about it. Rapping ability is impeccable. He's doing his thing. The wordplay is there. You know, he does his thing. He got a little boss. You know what I'm saying? It's gonna make you think about certain things. You know, he's doing his thing. And I ain't even mad at it. You know what I'm saying? So, hey. That's all I gotta say about it. Mr. Denzel. This is a decent, decent project. I feel like you need a little bit more promotion. But besides that, decent project. I love the t pain feature, by the way. I fucking love it. I love that song. That should have been longer as well. I love that fucking song. But anyways, I'm gone. Put your links. Put your links. Put the comments down below. Check out the links in the description. Check out the other videos I got. And besides all that, is your friendly neighbor K A signing off for today. The Black T J Dead Wilder doing his thing. My name ring bells like Quasimodo. Hit like and subscribe if you want to hear a little bit more. I'm gone. Slime Zone P shot Elge guy. Aye.